Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. I know I took another day off. Wasn't that kind of weird? Didn't plan for it. Thought I uploaded the video. Totally didn't even realize until it was like my son had already gotten up and everything and I already made dinner and I realized that um, I didn't upload the video. So it is what it is. But today I've got a great video for you. I watched a movie last night. Gonna be an interesting review. <laughs> I took my glasses off because they got junk all over them. Um, but I'll put them back on. Um, so last night I watched, I didn't finish Veronica, which I do plan on doing that probably tonight, maybe. We'll see. Um, but uh, I did watch um, Cube. Two, which is called a hypercube, I think is what it's called. I meant to look that up. Hold on, let me let me look that up real quick. Started watching something else. I have something else queued up on. Hold on, it's being stupid. Who? That was gross. I think it's cube. Hyper. I have cub on there and it still don't. Search engines are so annoying. There we go. Okay. So yes, cube to hypercube is what I checked out. Now, this is the sequel to the movie Cube. Um, Cube is a pretty good movie. It was interesting. It got a little slow in the, in, in the middle, and if you've watched my review of Cube, if you haven't, go check it out. I talk more in depth about it. But Cube is basically about there's traps all in, these, in these cubes, and you had to watch how you go into the next cube because you don't know where the trap is going to be, and each room might possibly have like another trap. It's almost like if Jigsaw was a complete jerk and made everybody go through this maze of a cube. Basically what you got. Um, and I don't know when Cube came out. Cube 2 came out in... Let's click over and find out real quick. Cube came out in 97. Uh, cube 2 came out in 2002. Um, so five years have passed, um, since the first cube was made. So it's been a while and I remember the cube coming out and I, and I, I, I didn't remember, but I remember it being on Netflix, a lot of streaming things, um, a long time ago, but I never checked it out. So I did finally check it out. Cube two, I checked out last night. Hypercube. Now this is a different cube. Same kind of concept. The movie starts and it has, I believe, I think how it starts. I think it started with a girl. I know they started in two different things and then some guys end up showing up. I think it, I don't know, I'm trying to think how it happened. But I know there was a group of people that were together already. So it kind of started in progress, it seemed like. But I read reviews on this, and the reviews are pretty close to what is true of what happened. They always they talk about in reviews, there was a lot of techno jargon and that, you know, you can't hardly understand. And they it does in a little bit, but here, here's what happens. It's very it's a very, very calming thing. It's not as crazy as the first cube. Um but in this movie, you can move to and fro the, the to the next cube really with no problem. There's not really much going on in that case. Um, but there's touch sensors and things like that now in the cube. You don't have to enter a code. You don't have to um, do anything like that to go to the next cube. Um, but there's something to do with time... And that time passes 
differently in different cubes and and things like that and it, it's it kind of you kind of get lost but the thing that i realize is when you watch this movie you just kind of kind of ignore everything they're saying and watch it but even with that the end of the movie is kind of crazy and i'm like what and the way they set it up at the end there could be another one to come out there is a cube zero that's out right here on the screen i'm looking at um, it kind of looks like a saw picture. Um, but it's a prequel to Cube. So evidently it's going to be probably more brutal. And probably is not going to be as cool as Cube. But it's going to be probably a little bit more kind of crazier, I'm assuming. Since it's a prequel. Um, cube 2, I, I would not recommend. If you like the If you like Cube, stay away from Cube 2. Or if you do, don't pay attention too much. Just just, just watch it. Know it's going to be a crappy movie. Just watch it. it it's it's kind of weird. And there's cool things in it. But other than that, it's nothing special. It, it, it's I want to give it a chance, though, since everybody else seemed to kind of shoot it down and say it was horrible and things like that. I was like, well, i got to check it out. I got to see how bad it really is. And I didn't believe it was going to be that bad. And it starts off, it's okay, it's interesting. You know, this dude's writing numbers on a thing, and he's like, you know, I haven't, I keep circling back and keep going the same cubes. And I'm like, oh, that's cool, okay, cool concept. And different people keep coming in. And... You know, I did fall asleep during this movie, but I don't think it even affected the movie whatsoever because it got to the point to where at one point during the movie, it just starts jumping. It's like they had they had the plot. No, wait, hold on. Let me back that up. They had the characters. They had the ending. And they were trying to fill in the middle. And it's almost like that they started writing a story but they couldn't figure out the pivot point in the middle and the person directing or the studio or whatever said, Hey, you got to finish this. We need this movie. We're going to release it during this time. So they rushed it and they made this shitty in, in the middle part that just didn't work out for the movie. So it is what it is. It doesn't, it's not very good in my opinion. It's not as good as the first one. Um, hopefully cube zero is a little bit better than, uh, Cube. There is a good movie on here called Circle. It's actually a pretty good movie. Um, and Would You Rather. It's a pretty good movie, too. I reviewed both of those on this channel. Um, but Cube Zero, I'll watch next. It's the prequel to the Cube. Uh, Cube 2, like I said, came out in 2002. So it's five years after the original Cube. Cube Zero came out two years later. So evidently, they're kind of gaining popularity. And people kind of enjoyed them halfway. Or they wouldn't have made another one. Somebody likes them. I mean, it's a cool concept. If they keep going with them, I think it'd be interesting. If they end up making it mean something, like if they do Cube Zero and they make another movie that ties all it together, it would work. Because at the end of Cube 2, uh, they hint at it being part two of something. That That's all I'll say. So, kind of weird. So, there's got to be another one coming. So, if they said that in the movie, then they must have plans to make a Cube 3. So, I'm guessing that's why they put Cube 0 and then Cube and then Cube 2 is the fact that they're going to make another movie. So, I, I kind of want to see Cube 0. And I don't know, maybe if, they, if they're going to make Cube 3, they needed to have some other story in place in order to come out with Cube 3. Maybe that's why they came out with Cube Zero. I have no idea. I haven't seen Cube Zero yet, though. Like I said, this is your view for Cube 2. Cube Zero, I'm talking a lot about. I've said Cube like probably 47 times during this video. Anyway. But like I said, I would just, just turn it on. Chill. Talk to your husband. Play on your phone. Just, just turn it on and let it go. So you can get through it and know what's going on. Watch the beginning. I fell asleep. You can play, you can play a game. 
whatever. It doesn't make any difference. Number two is not very good. But to me, if you got to know the story if you're going to watch all the other ones, I'm assuming. So, just turn it on, get through it. Hopefully, Cube Zero is a little bit better than Cube Two. Uh, <laughs> the technical jargon is, is is it's not technical jargon though. Like some people were saying, they're just they're talking about time paradoxes and things like that, and time speeding up, um, and just things like that, technical stuff like that. Like one guy's a computer engineer, another guy talks about he made the sensors and some other stuff like that in the movie. So it's just kind of crazy, and it's just a lot of it, it's a little bit more sci-fi than the first one, I guess I could say. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed the the review. It's kind of a weird review that I did, but uh, that's my opinion of Cube Two Hyper Cube. Uh, check it out. It's really cool. Uh, like I said, turn it on, just chill on your phone, watch it. It's not that good to sit and watch. It's one of those movies that, yeah, yeah. I mean, would I buy these movies on DVD, whatever? No, probably not. Unless I've seen, like, all three of these. Like, if i seen Cube Zero, Cube, and Cube Two on, like, a DVD for, like, five bucks for all of them, maybe. I might buy it. If I bought movies, whenever. If I collected movies that were just okay, I would buy it. If it was in Trilogy, if it was five bucks. I don't do that personally, though. I only buy movies that are really, really good and have a rewatchability factor. These do not have a rewatchability factor, in my opinion. So, we'll see. Like I said, hopefully the story concludes when they make the fourth one. Anyways, like, comment, subscribe, all the good jazz. I'll catch you guys later. Like the video and tell me what you would like to see me review next. Keep rocking and I guess watch Cube 2.